Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can use your previous work history to actually get yourself a leg above everybody else that's applying to positions as developers. Okay, so let's get started, guys. Um, I want to go in and give a big shout out to one of our students at codingphase.com. His name is Joby Offman. Um, he recently just got a position as a data analyst. Um, and what he did was just basically use his previous work history uh, to be able to get that position. Again, here's his uh, portfolio. Shout out to him. Great dude. Love his attitude. Love uh, the fact that he, you know, came in, uh, put in the work. And, and again, he was going for email developer, but he found this other opportunity as a data analyst that came in and basically got on his lap <laughs> straight up, fell right on his lap um, again while he was still looking for a job as an email developer. And what he did was he used his previous work history um, and the knowledge that he had of the healthcare system system and with that a uh, company actually reached out to him a recruiter reached out to him and was basically like hey um, we see that you have knowledge of the healthcare system we see that you have some knowledge with uh, some SQL right um, and you know how to work with uh, data right and we basically are interested in interviewing you okay so again they gave him an interview he actually got to talk to uh, one of the heads of the company uh, I don't know if it was the CEO or pretty much like a CTO uh, that he got to talk to but by him being able to answer questions about the industry of the you know the healthcare industry and certain codes um that uh only somebody that will worked in or has worked in that industry will be able to answer those questions so again uh, by him having that knowledge he was able to get this uh position and again i believe that all of you guys can use the same strategy okay and i'm gonna show you how right so there's a whole bunch of different industries out here right in the united states there's the manufacturing there's the industry i mean this is just blatantly <laughs> just super blank but technology production finance marketing agriculture uh retail economics uh computers and information systems which is like it work um robotics construction advertisement human resources um mining insurance uh, education health care right um real estate you know sales uh, again telecommunications biotechnology electronics accounting uh, chemical industry again recruitment uh, medical device uh, maritime transport cloud computing etc uh, again i'm just giving you guys some of the industries that's out here and pretty much i'm i'm very you know sure that some of you guys have worked in uh at least one or two of these industries okay and because you have knowledge of that industry you can go in and apply to those specific type of companies that fall under those industries and then now you will have a leg up above everybody else that's applying as a developer because you actually know about the industry itself okay and you've actually worked within it so again uh, by using this strategy you can pretty much skip the line to be honest with you okay and i'll give you an example let's say you worked as a teacher or you worked as an administrative uh individual in i don't know in a school or you know junior high school or high school or college etc right and now you're trying to transition as a developer you can actually go in and search on indeed.com by industry for example education developer right let's say i was a teacher now i want to become a developer um it might be harder for me to crack into a new industry but it will be easier for me to use the same industry that i was in but now apply as a developer so again you come in you search this uh keywords like that put in the industry and then from there put in uh, developer and you will see all of the jobs that are available out there so for example like this is one company uh, it's called long tail education they're looking for a front-end developer in an e-learning group right uh this is a pretty straightforward uh position i mean they're looking for somebody with one year html5 java right so super basic stuff okay it's an e-learning company 
basically uh, by GVSA, Ubisoft, Gameloft. Uh, so again, it's a whole bunch of different companies that um, they basically serve with this long tail education. Come over here. Let me see if we could search for this. Uh, search long tail education. Okay. Dot com. All right. Give this a second. Okay. And pretty much this is the company, I guess, <laughs> as you can see, it's a new company, but they, they need help. <laughs> They're looking for somebody to come in and help out as a front end developer. It's probably, uh, as you can see, like a startup. Uh, but again, is uh, from what I'm seeing, it's like a app application, right? So, or like a mobile app application, right? Uh, for iOS. Um, and basically they're looking for somebody who is a front end developer. And again, you can see like, yes, they need help from somebody that is a front end developer. Cause as you can see, the website does not look good. Okay. So they're probably looking to hire somebody in house. All right. So that's just one position that you can say, Hey, I have knowledge about, um, you know, e-learning or I have knowledge of education. Um, now I'm a developer, uh, but guess what? I can use my expertise and, and my knowledge that I have of this industry to make a better um you know better job as a developer because now you don't have to train me on this i understand how this works okay uh also too look over here for example you have boston university they're looking for a web developer again okay? 62 to seventy-eight thousand dollars. Okay, uh, a lot of the times you're gonna see like universities they don't pay the most money but at the end of the day you'll have a lot of benefits and, and pretty much it's like it's like a job that you could stay there for the rest of your life and and you'll be fine you have all the you know your pension your 401k etc but again if you coming from education let's say you was a teacher or you worked as an administrator in you know the education system now switching to um you know being a, a developer you'll have a better chance of getting hired in a position like this than somebody who is just like well you know i was an uber driver and now i'm a developer right like you're gonna have a, a higher chance than that guy or a guy that might say well i used to work in finance and now i'm switching to web development guess what because you have that background in education you're gonna have a leg above that guy that's coming from finance okay um so, you know vice versa you're jumping into a company that you know is it's about finance or you know etc right um and you're coming from education the guy who has a background in finance he's gonna have a leg above you okay so again we go over here like this one this is ixl learning uh this is actually education.com uh, it's a pretty big company and they're looking for a senior software engineer right um again focusing on the modern stack right javascript html css nextjs react mongodb right aws so again if you have that education background, you can apply to this. And uh, again, I keep repeating this, but you're going to have a leg above everybody else. You know, sometimes you when you're looking for a new job or a new opportunity or a new career, you need to start looking at what you have uh, background on. OK, and use that to your advantage. It's not just about, hey, I'm going to apply to every company that's out here. It's not about, hey, I'm going to apply to every industry. Sometimes if you come in and you make a plan and you go in and you say, OK, cool, this is my background. Now I'm just transitioning to another role. I can go in and get a better position uh, than, you know, somebody else who might apply to the same job. OK, use everything that you can for your advantage. OK, so again, I just want cre to create this uh, small little quick video for you guys. And again, give a big shout out to uh, Joe B. Offman, you know, shout out to him again for getting his position um he was going for email developer he's still applying to positions as email developer to see what's out there um see if somebody gives him a better offer but again uh what's very interesting too is that the fact that he was going to so many email developer positions um even the recruiter was like yo we need to make an offer to this guy so when they came in and they reached out to him as a data analyst right uh for this company where they're going to be using i believe python and sql and to create reports for the company um basically you know 
they came in and, and they were like, okay, they asked him, hey, what you doing this week? I'm like, hey, well, he was like, hey, I got a couple of interviews right now, you know, and I'm pretty prepared, you know, to start working as soon as possible. So again, it kind of put pressure on them by him being at this position where he has a great portfolio, right? He has a lot of skills. Uh, again, um, all his projects are legit, right? So they can see that this guy, you know, it's no joke. This guy can really uh, get a job at any time. By him having that, um, it put pressure on them. Like, yo, we got to make an offer on this guy. Again, we don't have to train him. Um, you know, he already knows about the industry. He has knowledge about what we already do. So let's go in and make an offer on this guy. So again, uh, big shout out to Joby. Uh, sometimes things work out like that. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you might come in and say, well, I'm going for an email developer. But guess what? You might just get a job as a content editor. Or guess what? You might just jump in and get a job as a front end developer, uh, even though you was going for this route. Uh, just because that's how how it is right the, uh, again once you have a solid portfolio and people can see your work and see the skills that you have they take you more seriously okay if he didn't have a portfolio like this if he didn't have the skills and the background that he has um, most likely he wouldn't have gotten that that position again he has uh, again a super talented dude a lot of skills uh, but again things like this helped him get that position okay um so again for anybody that's out here that's still wondering man does the tech accelerator work does um you know coming into coding phase and learning the skills how can it help me like it's happening bro you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of people that came through the tech accelerator and have gotten hired already into positions and it's not just as email developers i got people that have gotten hired as web engineers or software engineers um again and even though they're coming in through this route of email development that's just to open up the door for you to get in but again you can also continue applying to other positions and, you know, taking the things that you've learned in the tech accelerator and through codingface.com, you can go and use those things to give you an edge above everybody else. Again, shout out to Joby, a super cool dude. Love his energy. I'm so happy for him. Uh, can't wait to add him to, you know, to the Hall of Fame. I'm super proud of what he's doing. And this is just the beginning, you know. Um, I believe he's getting, I don't know if it's like, sixty five seventy five thousand uh, dollars for the position but again remember this this is just the beginning for him right by him jumping into uh this industry i i, I believe is the biochemistry or um uh how you call this the healthcare um uh, industry but by him jumping in as a data analyst as his first job and they already know like hey he's, he's like a junior developer they're going to train him on, on a lot of things that he's going to learn in there that, you know, a year from now, he could easily be making one hundred fifty, one hundred sixty thousand dollars $160,000. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is just the beginning. And this is why I tell people, guys, take those opportunities. Don't be so money hungry and be like, whoa, I need to get $95,000 or a hundred something thousand dollars. Guys, remember. Most of you guys are not going back to college. You're not going in and doing four years of school. You're basically doing like one year, right, of you working at a company for maybe anywhere from $50,000 to $85,000. That's like your, your, your college year, basically, right? You're doing like one college year, but you're actually working, getting paid, right? And then the next year, you could double up on your income, okay? So don't be one of those guys like, nah, man, I'm not taking a job unless they give me a hundred something thousand dollars. You're going to find a job that could offer that. But guess what? You might be here for two years waiting on that dream job. Now, what will be better for you? Come in, take a position that might give you 65, 75, 85. Take that position, build experience, learn within the company. And then the next year, go in and apply to other companies and see what's out there. Again, shout out to Devin, um, another student from CodingPhase.com. He's almost basically making like 200K, right? He's working uh, email development, right? And he's doing like two, two jobs at the same time because, again, email development is not that hard. You have like four or five hours that you can do your job and then do another four or five hours for another job. I mean, they don't have to know. <laughs> they don't have to know that, right? Job stacking, okay? Uh, get your bread okay <laughs> go get your bread little duffel duffel bag boy okay <laughs> okay um so again so there's a, a lot of opportunities out here you just gotta know like to take them and, and, and where they at 
Okay, again, this is what we do at codingphase.com. Uh, we help people out uh, to get into the game. If you're interested in that, guys, go check out the description. Uh, by the way, we are opening the doors now for the tech accelerator. We closed it down in the summer um, because we already had enough people. Now, a lot of people have been getting higher, so now we're letting more people in. Okay, um, again, this is a great way for you guys to get into the industry. Um, you can look at the Hall of Fame on codingphase.com and you can see some of the stories in there. Uh, there's a lot of people that have been coming in through the tech accelerator and have gotten their positions. Okay, again, you can come in here, check it out, check what's in here. Okay, this is the Hall of Fame, right? You can click right here and see all of the guys, all of the different stories. Okay, some people you're gonna see photos for, some people you're not gonna see photos for. You know, everybody don't don't want to be in front of, of a camera, doesn't want to, you know, not comfortable sharing uh, their picture, and it's fine. But what I care about is sharing people's stories so people can understand that. Guess what? The same way how these people did it, you can do it too. Okay, uh, shout out to the homie Kevin Mosley, man. Dude is super cool. Me and him, we got lit in Miami uh, last summer that <laughs> I went over there. So shout out to him. Shout out to Jerome Young, right? Um, there's a lot of guys, you know, John Disler, right? Shoot, they, we've been doing this for a long time. We just, you know, we never really like shared everybody's stories. Um, but now we're we're going in and, and putting it on the Hall of Fame. So again. If you want to go check it out, go check codingphase.com. Uh, links in the description. Okay. Come over here. Click on the tech accelerator. Right. If you're interested in the tech accelerator, see the free training. After you see the free training, go in, book a session with me, and I will spend half an hour with you going back and forth and showing you exactly what we're going to do for you and show you what the program really is. Okay. Not a salesperson, not some random dude. Me, me and you can go in and discuss how we can help you out. And if I feel like I can't help you out and there's a better option for you, I'm going to tell you, go to the other option, right? This is not like, hey, you have to come in and and, um, and sign up with me. Like, nah, we're going to see where you're at. We're going to see what's your work ethic, right? And we're going to explain to you what the process is like. If I feel like you're not going to be able to do that or you're too busy or you got too much shit going on in your life right now, I'm going to tell you and be like, hey, man. This might not be a good option for you, okay? Um, but definitely come in, book a time. Um, the only thing that I do or uh, tell people when they book a time is just, guys, don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. I'm not here to just like, hey, Joe's a celebrity. I'm nobody. I'm just a regular dude that's trying to provide a service to you, okay? If you're not interested in the service, guess what? Don't book a time. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like this is the truth, okay? Book a time if you actually got to come in. And show up to the to the session. That's number one, right? Um, and number two, that you're interested in this, okay? You're and you're not here to talk to me or to be like, hey, I want to go meet Joe or I want to go and talk to Joe. I got some questions for Joe. Like, nah, this is not a consulting thing. This is more like, hey, let's talk about this program and let's see if this program fits you, right? Um, and that's pretty much it. So again, so just respect you, you know, respect your time and respect my time. Uh, again, um, but yeah, man, I, I can't wait to see some of you guys in, in the sessions. Um, we're open. And if you see like there, there's a date or a time that you like, man, Joe, I, I can't really make it this time. Um, can we do something on the night time? Can we do something on, on the weekends? Email me, codingface at gmail, and uh, I'll book a uh, uh, time for you. And I'll tell you, okay, cool. Let's do it on a Wednesday night. Let's do it on Saturday night. Like, I, I work with you. You know what I'm saying? So, again, holla at me, man. I'll see you guys later. Again, shout out to Joby. Uh, and congratulations on your job, bro. This is how you do it, guys. Come in. Use your, your previous work history and, you know, apply to those industries, man. Uh, sometimes sticking to the same industry, uh, believe it or not, you might say, man, I'm just tired of being in the retail industry. Guess what? You could be tired of the retail industry, but you could go in and now become a developer and get your, your, your foot in the door, which is, is important, right? So use that, that experience that you have for your advantage. All right. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy, Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Peace. <laughs> see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.